Thank you, Mary. This segment is sponsored by John C. Flood. Summertime can do a number on our homes, so it's best to be prepared for warmer weather and rain that we're experiencing mm -hmm. now that can affect, uh, that can cause wear and tear on our homes. So how do we get our homes in tip-top shape for the summer? Here to let us know are Eric McCatherine and Chris Thompson from John C. Mm -hmm. Flood. Good to have you, gentlemen. Yes. You're always here with great advice. <laughs> yes. Yeah. All right, this time we of hope. year, we, we didn't really think about summer of clogging and mm -hmm. slowing down plumbing. and problems with plumbing. What are some of the big problems that you see this time of year? Well, obviously with the summer, you're gonna have a lot more people going outside enjoying the heat and the fun that's mm -hmm. outside. And you're gonna have a lot more people coming in with sweat, dirt, grime and all those good things and taking mm. showers. And that all goes, oh. that all, obviously it's gotta go somewhere and it's down your drain. And yeah. over time that will eventually start to clog and that's where you'll start getting your clogged shower drain. And that's when you can certainly call Eric. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that's right. the problem. That's right. what's clogging right. our. And obviously there's hair too, but obviously okay. nobody ever thinks when you're, when you're outdoors all day, which will happen, yeah. especially kids, they're not always going to pre prep before jumping in a shower, I'm sure. They're just going to shower off and everything's going to run right into your drain. Right. Yeah. And more showering than we would right. normally, normally do. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. True. What about um, our toilets? How does yeah. that get clogged up? Uh, you have more people coming in your house, you have more kids there during the day, out mm -hmm. of school. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, kids don't always flush what's supposed to go down, down. <laughs> so you'll you speak find from experience on yeah, that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've seen some crazy things flush down toilets. So. I bet you wow. have. Yeah. I guess he doesn't want to tell you. No. Wow. <laughs> Just stick to like the toilet paper. That, right. That's basically yeah, all yeah, that yeah. should go down the toilet, right? Just toilet paper, no paper towels, diapers. diapers. Mm -hmm. Underwear, t-shirts, <laughs> t-shirts. No. Yeah, every, yeah, everything. You've seen this in the pipes, like someone successfully got it down. Pull it, no, but oh, it gets okay. stuck in the toilet. Just right yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So but it's more wow. than just something that like plunging obviously will take care of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No. Oh boy. Jeez. Okay, I'm afraid to ask about garbage disposals. <laughs> then what have you found in a garbage disposal? Well, obviously in the summertime you're gonna have barbecues, a lot more people over, and. As uh, my, my girlfriend was fully aware of, and she did one thing where she took the old box of arugula that was going bad and put it down the garbage disposal Ooh. and just flushed it. Then went down there and we're thinking, oh, that should be fine. But obviously, that's not fine. Obviously, garbage disposals are not really for garbage. You're not supposed to put oils or anything else than just basic rinsing of a plate or anything that's going right. in there. But oh. uh, obviously, she put the entire thing of arugula down there. We ended up calling John C. Flood, and we thought it, our homes are connected. Sort of like it's the neighbors with their kids, they did something. Mm. And they pulls it out and there's a big wad of arugula. <laughs> I wouldn't even think about it. And, and he pulls it out and I'm like, I turned her, my girlfriend's name was Trin, I turned around and looked at her and I'm like, <laughs> boom. <laughs> I, was like, I keep telling them, they do not put stuff down there. That's not what it's yeah. for. They, they should really neat. Rename it, not garbage disposal. Right. Yeah. yeah it's a bad name. I think of it like processing right. it and that cutting not, it up. That no, is not it doesn't how it works, do that. No. Oh. Yeah. What about like you know you always hear the putting lemons or limes in there yeah. and, and crunching it up to make it smell better. Well, that that is possible. You could lemon juice or anything like that. Anything down juice. there that's. A, but a, like an acidity. actual half lemon. Yeah. No. Okay. no, no probably no. not a good no, idea. No. No. You always hear that to like if your garbage disposal stinks. Have you ever? Yeah, I've heard that. that. Well, no, yeah. that is the, the juice of it, sure. The okay. Juice. Yeah, yeah, that not, can not help. the whole lemon. Or no, yeah, don't cut it up. <laughs> Even cutting it up, don't do it. All right, I'll stop doing that. Right. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I've seen people feed garbage disposals with all the trash in the refrigerator. Right. It's just, just not a good down oh. the Just put it in the in the yeah. either if you compost or in the garbage right. bag. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, I said name it something different because people in their mind garbage. Yeah. yeah. Everything, yeah, we anything think on anything the plate can not, go. Yeah, it's garbage and as my girlfriend yeah. does like it, that's what it's for. I I'm love like that. it is not. I but you know they keep us in business. Yeah, yeah I was going to say, and then if you don't listen <laughs> to this true. advice, they right. should just give you guys a call, right? Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> we okay. want you not to have to deal with it, but yeah. if you do, these are the men to call for sure. Thank you for that. Thanks yes, for telling us about fun. the great arugula incident. <laughs> I know. Uh, if you'd like more info about how John C. Flood can help you, just head to johnccflood.com.